YouTube, what's up? This was a an REOK okay from Instagram. Um, I better shout out. I forgot the dude's name, but he posted a picture to which um, one of the cars that he posted I was highly interested in. And I asked him, you know, what he needed for it. And he said, uh, just don't worry about it. Just send me your address. So there's been a little bit of that lately. And I'm very grateful to all of you guys that helped me out like that. Uh, Rad Chad Customs. <coughs> so he sends me this for free. This is a custom that he did. It's super nice custom. So he painted it. Wheel swapped it. It's a metal base. It's got some nice button heads. Real clean. Real nice little custom. Great roller. So he sent me that, but the car that I wanted was... Uh, a Matchbox multi-pack exclusive, and I already have it, but I wanted to trade for another one. Because this thing is super hard to find, and it's going to be very sought after. The multi-pack Land Cruiser is like a $250 car. It's the red one. Uh, that came out a couple years before this one. I don't know if this will ever get to that point, but I can see this one hitting that $100 price range it's currently going for 25 but i think if you can find it it's very rarely pops up on ebay i'm sure if someone posted this for like 50 or 60 dollars buy it now i bet it would sell it's just so hard to find so uh the orange skyline is another one that i think is worth holding on to so i'm happy to have a duplicate of this because at some point in the future, I'll probably sell it along with that orange skyline. I have two of that one, too. If this ever hits $100, I'll sell both. I'll sell both of mine. <clears throat> okay. Um, like all videos, I'm going to go worst to first. I did get some new stuff in the mail. <clears throat> I also found a few things. So worst to first, um, I picked up this just a little matchbox mac mac truck dump truck license model so that's why i grabbed it uh also from matchbox dodge charger pursuit this is actually a really nice casting i've already got it but i thought this was a pretty nice deco it's rcmp canada i'm not sure but i think that I don't know if that's um, <clears throat> Royal Canadian Mounted Police. I don't know. But if any of you uh, Canadians that, that can help out with that, feel free to comment. I like the car, so I picked it up. It is a Matchbox mainline release. And I like these wheels, too. These are Matchbox's best wheels, in my opinion. So, um, those were found out in uh, at Walmart or Dollar Tree. Uh, this one was sent as an REOK with the blue 4Runner and the Chevy pickup. This is a brand new Matchbox release. Probably going to be pretty hot. It's the NASA truck. The thing that sucks about this is... Like everything else, NASA, it's fake metal, as in it's plastic. It's a plastic casting with a metal base. I'm not a big fan of NASA, guys, sorry. Um, not to get political, but I don't think they're totally honest with us. Um, I'm not convinced that we ever went to the moon. So I think I've stated that on the channel before. If you believe we have, that's your prerogative i will not infringe on your opinion but my opinion after doing lots and lots of research is that it's not possible for us to go today 
based on the technology that we have. NASA has admitted that. Therefore, it's not possible that we went 50 years ago. None of it makes sense to me. None of it. Why would we go seven times and then stop? People say, well, there's nothing there at the moon for us. Okay. There's nothing at the top of Mount Everest either, yet people go. It just doesn't make sense to me. The, the, I'm not a physicist either, but a lot of the physics don't add up to me. You know, the whole Van Allen radiation belt thing. There's just a lot about it that doesn't make sense. They deleted the telemetry data because they needed the tapes, even though they get like $52 million a day to operate. None of it adds up. That's my opinion. I think it's a winnable debate. I think it's a very winnable debate. And I'm not a big conspiracy theory guy, but that's one conspiracy I would take to the bank all day. I'd probably actually bet my life on it. But I do like NASA branding. You know, I think it's kind of nostalgic. It's kind of cool. I have a NASA shirt. You know, I have some NASA die cast. But, yeah. I think they're about as real as a $3 bill. I shouldn't say that because they are real. And I do think we've been to space. And, I, you know, I, I don't think the whole thing is fake. I just think a lot of what they do, a lot of what they do is phony in my opinion. All right, back to the die cast. This one here is dope. It's going to be a super hot piece. Um, I got it for the humble price of $2, which I'm happy to pay $2 for this car on the secondary market because uh, I think it could sell for upwards of $5 right now on the secondary market. But it is a Matchbox 1975. You know where I'm going with this. 1975 Chevy Caprice. Beautiful car. Brand new tooling from Matchbox. This one was pretty highly anticipated. And it's easy to see why. Great looking car. Uh, I wonder if it has a scale... No scale on the base. Matchbox has not been doing that with their new, with the new tunings that they have. Something they used to do fairly regularly. See, the Mack truck also doesn't have a scale. I think the Forerunner does. Well, maybe not. Oh, yeah, it does. One, one sixty second scale. Sorry for the bad camera, guys. The NASA truck does not have scale. The NASA truck is a cool truck. It looks a lot like the food truck. They just changed the, uh, they changed the panels to cargo rather than vending. So anyways, this one here is it's a great color, a champagne color, metallic flake. It's going to be very hard to find this car. Um, if I were you, I'd buy them all. It's going to be a really hard one to find. And it might be one of those matchbox cars, you know, down the road in a couple of years that sells for $15 or $20. So that's the basic stuff. Now we're going to get into the premium stuff because I, I managed to... Um, I managed to round up some decent uh, green lights. So we'll start with this. I found this tonight. Uh, every now and then our family will take a uh, Friday night trip out across town to the Antique Mall. And I picked up this Series 9 Hollywood Breaking Bad Challenger, which I never did find in the wild. It was $10, so... I think that's a pretty fair price for a car like this. This Challenger is a, it's just a dope little casting. I don't have very many of these. And so I definitely wanted to pick it up. Let's 
sick looking car. Nice deco, nice wheels. Very cool. Definitely happy to have that. I'm surprised that it took me this long to get this car, actually. I have another uh, version of it. So this one is um, Breaking Bad Hollywood series. I got the one from the Walking Dead film reel, which is very similar. It might even be the same car. They do look to be slightly different shades of red. But either way, happy to have that. From the brand new Hobby Shop Series 5, I picked up this Datsun 510 1970. Uh, <clears throat> this is a casting that uh, I don't know if I'm going to go after all of them, but I'm going to at least try to get all of the, the main ones. Well, the exclusives are going to be hard to go after, like... Miho exclusives are easy enough because they make a bunch of them. They make usually around 4,800 of them and they're made for the U.S. market. But the, the ones that are going to be hard to get are the Bishop exclusives. I have three of the four. But those are Indonesia exclusives. And they are about $20 a piece for the regular cars. This thing looks great in green. I think this is the first time I've ever seen a 510 in green. In 1 to 64 scale. I love these wheels. So these wheels have, they're not new. They've been out on a bunch of the dots and stuff. They've been out on the skylines. Um, but I don't think I've seen them in this silver color. I think I've only seen them in black and gold. But they definitely look best in this color because it shows the depth, you know, they're they're actually nice little deep dish uh wheels. Much more of an accurate JDM style. <clears throat> Plus you get the driver. I've got an assortment of these drivers now. And uh, that is awesome that it says Dotson. I love the Dotson branding on the fire suit. That's totally cool. Yeah, this thing looks great. So the headlights are painted because it is a race car. Got the uh, chin spoiler. And this is a great little casting from Greenlight. I like the Greenlight Dotson better than any of the others. Only one I like better is the TLV. I like the Konami a lot, though, but I like the fact that this is a two-door, and the only other company that did a two-door is Tomica Limited Vintage. But they haven't done any racing two-doors. They're all very stock. And they don't look sporty like this. They don't have the lowered stance. They have the white wall tires, most of them. So I really like this car. And that's a cool little addition to the collection. And the fact that I get a Datsun driver with it is pretty dope. So there's that car. This next one is going to be really hot. It's going to be it's going to be a pretty tough one to find in the wild. But I have a feeling that this series they might make a ton of them. Although this one that I got's number 590. Let's see what the Datsun is. The Datsun is 5058, so there's at least 5000. But this is from the same series, uh, Hobby Shop Series 5. This is go the uh, highly sought after 1984 Monte Carlo Super Sport. And this was important for me to get this because this is possibly the only, if, I, if there's more than one, there aren't many, but it's the only one that I know of 
green light casting that I have all of them. Not counting chase cars because I don't collect green. I don't collect green machines. It's not. Um, what I like to collect is authentic looking replicas, and a red car with green wheels isn't all that realistic. So the money that they command, I would rather spend on three or four regular cars rather than one chase car. All right, so this one, all of the hobby shop cars come with a little accessory. So the Datsun comes with the driver. The Monte Carlo comes with this gas pump, and I believe this is a new gas pump tooling, although it might have come out in the last hobby shop uh, series. But I know it's relatively new. See, this gas pump here would probably work for one of my layouts. It's a little bit more modern. Still old. It's still definitely an old pump. But, I mean, it's still a globe top, I think is what those are called. All right, let's look at this car. So, let's see. Uh, white, black, black, red, and... Zamax. So there's five. So this is only the sixth time that this car has been released. What's weird is the base is like a shiny metal. But let's take a look at this car. This is the sixth Monte Carlo that Greenlight has done. And it's not my favorite. I don't think it's the best that they've done, but I do like it. It's, it's also not the worst. So it's a metallic blue with a blue vinyl interior is what it appears to be. Uh, it does have privacy glass, tenant windows, which I like. Uh, it's got the chrome wheels, which I, I would prefer this silver color. I would prefer that finish to chrome. I just think it... Pulls out more of the detail. Chrome hides a lot of the detail in this scale. It's almost like uh, it's almost like black. But you can see here, all of the trim is very highly detailed. Uh, this car does not have lens headlights or taillights. It's all painted detail, but it's pretty nicely done. And this car, like I said, this is number six. So the first time they released it was as a Black Bandit. That's probably the cheapest one to get right now. You, I think you can get that one under $10 shipped. Uh, it also came out, <clears throat> it came out as a hobby exclusive with a heartbeat um, packaging. And that one's really tough to find. That's probably about a $25 to $30 car at this point. It also came out as a first cut which was white. That one, in my opinion, I think might be the, my favorite. Um, that one I think you can get around 15 or 20, but that one comes with an all metal uh, raw version with no paint. And then it also came out in the Hollywood series for Breaking Bad in red and now here in blue. So basically... Um, Red, white, black, and blue are the only colors. But, yeah, I like this car. That's a sweet-looking car. I definitely like this casting better than the Johnny Lightning. I don't want to take anything from the Johnny tooling because it's a great tooling. It's one of their better toolings. But I still like this one better. I think this one has a little bit of a more realistic look to it. All right, I got two more to show you. So uh, if you saw the last video, you saw the new green light tooling, which is the Dodge Durango. I got the Utah Highway Patrol, and then I got the black SRT from Greenlight Muscle. I love that black one. It looks insane. But they also brought it out in Hitch and Toe Series 15, with this trailer, which I have no 
no desire to have. I already have this trailer in a different color. So the trailer may be traded or sold at some point. But another civilian deco, this time a nice light color. I'm going to try to get all the civilian decos of this car. I'll probably actually uh, try to get all the police cars too. I have a feeling... Oh, sorry. Hang on. I'm gonna set the. I'm gonna set the camera down for a second. I have a feeling that uh, this casting is gonna be treated a lot like the Ford Explorer, where it's gonna be predominantly released as a pol police car, and I don't think we're gonna see it all that often as a civilian car. trailer jack out here this is a heavy heavy trailer for as much plastic as in it I think it's super heavy because it's all die cast except for where the windows are all right stand by sorry for making you guys sit there and look at that the dirt I do have a quick uh, diorama update as well. Yeah, this thing is so badass. Alright, so this is not the SRT. This is just an RT. But, man, that looks so killer. I love white cars with black wheels. Although I still wish these were silver. But you can see how nice the casting is <clears throat> they did a great job replicating this car it looks a lot like the actual car the stance is really good uh, better than most <coughs> better stance than most uh, 1 to 64 scale die cast cars at least from the domestic standpoint uh, the trailer is really nice I just don't care about it you know, if you've got a nice die-cast car to display in it, uh, it would be a great trailer to use. So let's park the trailer for a second and take a, a look. So here's the grill. It says Dodge RT. I like on the black one how you have the SRT in the grill. I think that looks really good. But lens headlights and taillights with tampoed indicators, as you can see. You also have fog lights down in the bumper. You've got the little hood scoop intake. Uh, side view mirrors, which are part of the casting a lot of the green light side view mirrors, like on the Dodge Charger, for example, they're part of the window panel. And so if you ding the mirror too hard, you'll pull the whole window thing off. I've had that happen a couple times. Another car that has that is the Ford um, or the Dodge Monaco, the 70, I think it's a 78 Dodge Monaco. So the fact that these are like the uh, the Fox Body Mustang does it this way, where it's part of the casting. So you can bang the heck out of this, and it's not gonna it's not gonna break. It'll scratch the paint. I mean, you don't want to do it, but it won't it won't break the window off. So here's the back. Got those distinctive Dodge tail lights that run across the uh, the width of the car, and that is. A translucent lens insert at least I think it is yeah oh whoa, 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 whoa. it is not I have to double check the other two I thought they were I'll tell you what the fact that that's tampoed is very impressive because it's it's very convincing very convincing. 
I'm not a fan of the hitch on this car. In fact, I might remove that. Um, it just doesn't have the clearance for it. So yeah, that hitch will be coming out. But I love this casting. It's one of my favorite new green light castings. And I now have three of them. Awesome car. All three have the same wheels. Just uh, two of them have black wheels. One of them has silver. So pretty awesome. Now the last car that I have, and then I'll show you guys a quick little update, and then we'll wrap up the video. I bought this car from Japan. Anytime you get a package from Japan, a package of die cast from Japan, you know it's a good day. This thing is so awesome. I've wanted one of these for a long time. <clears throat> I started looking at these three years ago when I started collecting Tomica Limited Vintage. And um, it was just always really expensive they dropped a little bit in price they went from the 70 to 80 dollar price range down to like the 50 to 60 dollar price range so i went ahead and picked one up but it is a tomica limited vintage nissan toronto which is basically the american equivalent of what would be a Nissan Pathfinder although I, I don't know if the Pathfinders were ever available with two doors but that's exactly what this is it would be a path it looks just like a two-door Pathfinder the early 90s Nissan Pathfinders looked just like this except they had four doors it's just a sick Nissan 4x4. Um, it does not have suspension. Usually the larger castings don't, but they still roll better than anything else. But you can see here you've got the four-wheel drive badge. Translucent insert lens taillights. Super clear uh, windows. All the window trim is detailed looks amazing you've got the two-tone paint with a metallic silver on an enamel black prototypical chrome wheels don't see a whole lot of chrome wheels from brands like kyosho and tomica limited vintage and then here's the uh front end It just looks like a vintage Nissan truck. And uh, I've got the Nissan Safari from TLV. So I thought it very fitting to get this one. And when I was finally able to score one of these for uh, 50 bucks, I was pretty happy about that. Got the little 4x4 Tampo there. So yeah, this is awesome one of my favorite TLVs that I have now I love the truck it looks so killer that is way cool they have some of these that have like a little push bar on the front and a spare tire in the back uh, those ones do sell for a little bit more there are times where you can't find these on eBay for less than 80 or 90 dollars that's why when i saw it for 50 I, I snagged it and i think there are a couple others that are still up there for 50 so awesome car so that's my uh that's my haulage so um we're already at a half hour so i'm going to be super quick with the uh the diorama update <clears throat> i went to home depot today on my lunch and grabbed the board so 
I'm good to go with that. I'm going to start building up the terrain probably tomorrow because it's just going to be a matter of gluing, uh, stacking foam and gluing it. And then once the glue dries, then I get to go through with a razor blade and sculpt the foam to try to get the terrain how I want it. Um, so that's my my plan for the weekend. But uh, I'm trying to get these buildings done. I'd like to get them all done before I start the actual layout. So this is the garage that will be used as mentioned in the last video. This will be used with the house that I built. And uh, the house that I built, if you didn't see the last video, uh, this is the house. A house that I made out of scratch. It's not a kit or anything like that. I just threw it together real quick. Um, I will make a porch on this side with uh, a couple of posts and a railing. But I'm not going to do that until it's down. So that's the house. that This garage will be used as a detached garage for the house. So that's one building, but I also want to have a couple other buildings. So I'm going to do a drive through restaurant, I've decided. And then I haven't started on that one yet, but the building I'm working on now is, it's an interesting building. Um, I didn't draw plans out or anything, and I didn't really Google reference photos. I just had an idea in my head and started, started uh, measuring and cutting these plastic brick sheets and so it's going to be an l-shaped two-story building this is the front of the building here so i'm going to try to weather it to because right now it looks it has a much newer look than what i want to go than what i'm going for but um this is the front of the building so there's a space, obviously, between the first floor and the second floor where I can put a sign. So I'm going to have to have someone make me a sign because I want the first floor to be a die cast and collectibles uh, little shop. And then the upstairs can just be a little loft. Let me see if I can... I'm going to see if I can get uh, one of the sidewalls up. So here is the one of the sidewalls. It's going to go like this. So that's going to be your shape of the building. So I'll have the house, and then I'll have this, and then I'll build a, a little drive through restaurant. But the plan is to scratch make all the buildings. Um, as mentioned previously, I just want to be able to look at the layout and say I made that so pretty much everything's going to be scratch made except for little accessories like trash cans mailboxes uh, telephone poles stuff like that but the uh, all of the earth and terrain and buildings and fences all of that stuff will be scratch made so anyways so that's it not too shabby of a Friday night. Definitely got some keepers into the collection tonight. Let's get this off of there. Some collection keepers. Green light is still, still smashing. Man, green light is just on such a roll right now. Because they still have awesome castings coming out. They have a, a square body Caprice coming out. They have a square body Chevy pickup. Um, I know there's a bunch of cool stuff that I'm missing. That Nissan Patrol is going to be a must-have for me 
I'm going to have to. That's one of those that I'll probably collect all of them. So. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. You guys have a great weekend. Happy hunting. Uh, out in Apache Junction, there's a train shop. I'm going to head out there tomorrow morning and see if I can find any goodies for the layout. <clears throat> what I'm going to be looking for is signs, building signs, billboards, and graffiti decals. If any of you have the ability to print water slide decals and you want to custom make a sign for yours truly, let me know. But anyways, that's all, guys. Have a great weekend, and I will holler at you all at the next video.